A long time ago, when the grass was greener and the MMORPG had not yet spoiled the Autoboy, Terra Online came out in Europe. It was in the beautiful 2015th year. For five years of its existence, it gained a huge fan base and unexpectedly closed in the 2020. I honestly tried to understand why this game passed me by, even though I was already actively running my channel. Probably confused little lowly girls, but where they are not now. In any case, it's great that in the 2023rd year I have the opportunity to look at this game through the eyes of a complete beginner who has not played Terra a single day before. Live servers of Terra can now be counted on the fingers of one hand of a milling cutter, so the choice fell on Acheron Online, which positions itself as a classic server of Terra, finished taking into account the wishes of simple hard workers and the opportunity to get any costumes and other things from the donut shop in a playful way. And if you have played Terra before or want to be nostalgic, then I will leave a link to the server and a list of all changes in the description. You will surely understand what they mean. I'm interested in the gaming experience, so let's do real hardcore. It all starts with the choice of race. There are seven of them here, each with its own racial characteristics, as it should be in normal MMORPG, and some even have a choice of gender. Don't be surprised how I will mention things that are quite obvious to you. After reviewing more than 100 mobile MMOs RPGs, they have ceased to be obvious to me. Of course, the Ellen race is out of competition, but the majestic descendants of the giants have conquered my heart. And if you consider that I decided to try to take Priest in hardcore, you can't think of a better appearance for him. A huge powerful priest is ready to drive the word of God into the heads of sinners. There are no fewer classes here, and they say that the developers finally got the Reaper, from which it was possible to catch a permanent camp in PvP on the servers. There is no such thing here anymore. The character editor, rich even at that time, allowed me to customize the appearance of my stone, try on armor, and choose the most brutal voice. Began to pass quests. I was in for a shock. There's a non-target action here. Yes, of course I've heard that an MMORPG with a non-target exists, but I've never encountered them. Usually, I allocated both to the target and all the skills fly into it, wherever you are. It's not like that here. Here each skill has its own range and distance. Therefore, for long-range attacks, it is necessary to approach the mob at the right distance and then attack. It's still more unusual with melee attacks. If you are standing sideways to the mob, or suddenly he went behind his back, then that's it, the damage does not pass. I've been getting used to this kind of action all day, but you know what? In the end, I even began to like it. Non-target opens up whole spaces for tactics in PvP and PvE, since if you dodged, then you dodged and the damage will not pass on you. For PvP modes, I'm not old enough and I can't say how the target fighter shows itself there, but I liked it in PV, especially when fighting with elite mobs, from whose attacks I would stick together in other games anyway. And here he calmly dodged and attacked even playing for the priest. But it became clear why there are very few projects with a non-target action. Doing them is much more difficult and you have to take into account a bunch of side parameters. And in the targeted ones, you just take it and attack without any problems. The shock has passed, we move on to pumping. It is classic and very much resembles World of Warcraft. The world of the game is huge and divided into zones, divided by the level of quests. Moreover, the story chain smoothly leads you across the entire continent, introduces you to the plot and opens up a whole bunch of side quests. So yes, pumping here on quests, but at the start, if desired, you can try to collect monsters along the river and finish off the level on them. According to the tradition of the same World of Warcraft, each location ends either with some kind of mini dungeon or a boss battle. Well, I can't help but mention that the world in the game is really huge and seamless. The locations are large and all densely populated with monsters. No corridors and small maps for you run anywhere. You can travel long distances either using teleports or flying mons. I don't know if it will be possible to get a flying mount for personal use on the high level, but it would be cool. In general, the atmosphere in the locations is gorgeous. You don't notice how the hours fly by while pumping. Yes, and on quests you are given a bunch of useful things and clothes, which in addition to everything fall from many moves, so getting dressed is not a problem at all. Again, the thrill is that every 5 to 10 levels you don't get a banner in front of your eyes with an offer to buy some set for money, which usually happens in mobile MMOs. The initial character development here is naturally based on the selection of gear and reinforcement crystals for my class, which for some reason I stubbornly want to call glyphs. 
and also purchases every two levels of new skills from the teacher. Since I play as a priest, I have about the same amount of both attacking and healing skills. In general, to my surprise, Priest does not feel flawed here. I calmly go through all the quests, kill all the bosses, and fight with the elite without even spending banks of HP and mana. There is a pack of buffs for yourself and the party. There is a heal and even mana recovery. And I can put all the extra buffs on myself through the bonfire, burning the charms I need in it. By the way, they were given not only them for creating an account, but also a box with awards on the left, a coupon for 100% experience and 10,000 coupons for outfits, for which I took this stylish robe and staff. It's as if the stone was created to be a cross. Having reached the 20th level, I opened the first group dungeon, the Bastion of the Lock. The party was found very quickly, so I, ready to cure everyone, switched the skill panel and went to conquer it. I didn't have to treat and buffet anyone, though, since the dungeon is quite light, but it was interesting to see how other classes work. We had two tanks, and they skillfully held all the mobs and the boss. By the way, in the dungeon itself, you have a whole bunch of quests, making which you can easily reach the 25th level. I didn't make them, because the party was in a hurry and I didn't want to detain him. And if you believe the guides, then you can quickly swing the 65th at the expense of the dungeons alone. As I understand it, there is an abundance of PvP content waiting for us on the high level, a bunch of world bosses and dungeons, but there is still swinging and swinging. I haven't even figured out peaceful professions yet, but along the way you can still craft armor, weapons, various cans, and much more. As a result, having started playing with great skepticism and getting used to non-target combat for a long time, I liked it so much that on the third day it was impossible to tear it off. And when I realized that it was possible to disassemble clothes and drag things at their expense, the world began to play with new colors. Sometimes it's really nice to go into the game, despite no guides and knowing nothing about it, to fully plunge into history and see what it will lead to. It's a pity that the game passed me by at the time, but now I managed to play it. So if you want to go in, get nostalgic, or participate in a big war between clans, then fly to the Acheron server, which, thanks to widespread advertising, has gathered a really big online. There are enough people at any location, and even in the initial dance there is a party quickly. I'm definitely going to play some more time, take a break from mobile games with Autoboy and donation. That's it for me. Write everything you think about the game or if you noticed me in the game this week. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, put likes and bang the bell. Tyrion was with you. Bye to everyone.